Hey, good morning. I can tell you right now that it's not getting any better. Now we're seeing cancellations happening at both O'Hare Airport and Midway Airport. At least 47 here at O'Hare. We're looking at close to 30 at Midway. Let's take a look at some video from yesterday because people headed home after traveling for the holiday or packing out airports across the country. But they're dealing with plenty of cancellations. Last night, more than 50 flights had already been canceled for today. So far, 47 flights have been canceled at O'Hare. Midway has seen 30 just yesterday. Thousands of flights did not take off, and the blame is being put on COVID's Omicron variant. Chicago's airports were impacted as well. Yesterday, seeing 52 cancellations at O'Hare with Midway seeing two. Delta, United, and JetBlue say Omicron is the reason behind staffing shortages. We spoke to some travelers who say COVID was holding up their opportunities to take off, even missing flights due to mandatory testing for international flights. We had a 12 o'clock appointment to get a COVID test. And we got there, stood in line, we didn't get tested until 3 o'clock. I just hope that there will be an easier way to travel. It's very frustrating to travel during these times. And again, we're seeing 47 canceled flights here at O'Hare with 30 happening at Midway Airport. Those numbers could definitely change throughout the day. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we look at the effects of Omicron on travel coming home from the holidays. For now, we're live at O'Hare Airport. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.